Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here. Welcome you back to some more Let's Play Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. In the last episode, episode... Um, oh yeah. Hagrid got a dragon named Norbert. A dragon egg cat named Norbert. Fed it. Found out he couldn't keep it, because Malfoy's like, Hey, I found out he had a dragon. Had to take him to the top of a tower at midnight to get taken by some friends of Ron Weasley's brother. And then we got caught because we left our invisibility cloak, lost a lot of points, didn't matter. And we got detention. So yeah, that's basically what happened. <laughs> um, yeah, what? Wait a minute. No. No. Not again, please. That sounds like Quirrell. Hey, what's Quirrell doing out here at night? <clears throat> Mumble, mumble, girl. <laughs> great, great, um, script there. Game, mumble, mumble, girl. Wait, that guy looks familiar. But a portrait does. All right, all right. I'll tell you. <clears throat> hey, girl, why are you wearing green? Oh. Okay, that was weird. Um, <clears throat> that guy, that portrait looked familiar to a, um, guy that we met in, um, Diagon Alley. I wonder if the same if, this, if it's the same person. <clears throat> I'm not controlling Harry right now. Okay. Psst. Hermione, I just heard Quill talking to someone. He sounded afraid. That must have been Snape again. I'm sure it was. <clears throat> I think he's going to tell Snape how to get to the stone. We have to go to Dumbledore. That's what we should have done ages ago. But we've got no proof, and we're not supposed to know about the stone or Fluffy at all. Very true. Follow me. I bet you'll think twice about breaking the school rule again, won't you? Stop, Phillips. It's just quiet. <laughs> like <to> senile. <laughs> it's a pity they bind the old punishments. I still have the change in my office. Chains? What were you gonna do with chains? I no no no. I I don't want to. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Old pun jeez. Jeez, Phillips, man, you scare <laughs> You think Goodness gracious, man, you scary. You think Snape's intimidating. <laughs> Snape's nothing. The guy has chains in his office for some old punishments. What punishments did he dish out that require chains? If he said a cat of nine tails, that's one thing. A whip? Okay, whatever. Well not whatever, but okay. But a, a chains? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Wait, what? Find the injured unicorn. What? What do I have to find the injured unicorn for? What is this? <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Well, Mr. High and Mighty Harry Potter joins us at last. We're here for Hagrid. <laughs> wow, we're getting a Scottish accent now. And don't run off. It'll be worse for you if you do. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, you don't want me to do accents here. If I try to do a British accent, it just turns into, like, a Scottish accent or an Irish accent for some weird, weird... I don't know. Evening. Ready for a walk in the woods? I'm not going to that forest. You are if you want to stay at Hogwarts. Look here. That silver stuff from the ground's unicorn blood. Whoa. I didn't notice that until you pointed it out. Those look like, like, silver stones. Also, why is the blood silver? Um, <clears throat> there's a unicorn there that's bad, that's hurt badly. We're gonna find the poor thing. What happens if, if what hurts the unicorn finds us first? Good point. Nothing in the forest will hurt you if you stay with me or fine. Keep to the path. We're gonna split into two parties and search. If I'm going in there, I want fine. <laughs> Alright. So Harry and Hermione will go one way, Malfoy will go with Neville and Fang. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> If I don't get you in trouble, send up red spots with your wand. Now it's interesting. He, the um, in the book, they, he, they forget to mention this in the game, but they state that Fang's actually a coward. He's a bloodhound, but he's a coward. He's like, oh, you want Fang? That's fine. Well, he's a coward, so whatever. Okay, this is what I dreaded. Okay, so this is um, <clears throat> this is sec. The first section of the Forbidden Forest. Yes, first section. I believe there are six sections? 
This place can be confusing as all heck. And I mean that. Like, oh jeez. I, when I first played this game, I got so lost in this place. It's like, like, the first part of it's fine. It's like when it gets into like the middle portion of the, of the forest where it just gets like a headache. You can go in circles. Like, it's crazy. So there, there are like pathways that are down up. You have to go everywhere. Dang it. <clears throat> Let's see what monsters are here. Oh my goodness. My great friends, the turtles, that shoot fireballs out the rear ends. Because that makes so much sense. You know what? Oh, geez. Um. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to fight all you guys right now. Alright, so this would be section 3, yep, okay. This is actually the correct way, I believe, because if you go to the left up there, you go to, like, the section, like, 5 or something, it's weird. I can tell you, this place can be really confusing. <laughs> Try and keep up, Harry. This forest is dangerous. Shut up, Hagrid. You think I... <laughs> Try and keep up, Harry. <laughs> I thought you knew your way around this place you'd never been before. Really? <laughs> okay, where are we? I don't even know. We don't have a map of this place. Hagrid knows where he's going. Oh, what the heck? Who's there? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Another thing. In the movie, I think he sh he he has like a crossbow or something with him, Hagrid. I think he points this at this guy. He's like, "Who's there?" Oh, right. Sorry, you. I didn't want to try to kill you. Good evening, Hagrid. Who the heck are you? You've got a lot of hair. This is Harry Potter and Hermione Granger, students at the school. And this is Ronan. He's a centaur. We noticed. Shut up, Harry. You didn't even know what a centaur was. That was Hermione that said that. There's a unicorn been hurt. Have you seen anything unusual? <laughs> this, is, this is actually pretty cool. Marge is unusually bright to the <laughs> Okay, centaurs in, in Harry Potter love stargazing. They love astronomy. They will just talk about the stars and be like, Oh, look, Mars is unusually bright tonight. I look sad in there. It's, it's, the rings are pretty, more pretty than normal. They talk about the sky like you don't believe. In the book, they have this go on and on. See, I meant something nearby. The Force holds many secrets. Wow, you're really darn helpful, man. Great. Yeah, Forest holds many secrets. Mm-hmm. Not sure to help keep them. <laughs> oh, who are you? Oh, jeez. Face looks horrible. Hello, Hagrid. Hello, Bane. Bane? Jeez. What happened to Bane all this time? My goodness. Went from this to breaking Batman's back? My God. <laughs> As I was just asking Ron in here, who's unbelievably useless, have you seen anything unusual? Boz is usually useless. You un you're unanimous on that one. We have to go. If any of you do see anything unusual with more local nature, let me know. You guys are useless. We should not help those who the stars say are doomed. Yeah, these guys, I, mean, I think they say different things. So yeah, Neptune isn't very bright tonight, but it's brighter than usual. All the plants are brighter than usual for you guys. Go away. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, those, there's actually one more centaur going to be finding soon enough. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay, this is around where I might get lost a little bit. Alright, six and six. Alright. Um... That was six and six. Six and five. Interesting. So we're going to... F yeah. yeah. They don't make sense here. Oh, what's that white stuff? Uh, we go up. I think I actually go down here. That looks like the unicorn blood. Let's follow it. Yeah, I go down here. Hagrid, look. It's Box. Those are in trouble. You're right here. Uh-oh. What happened? I hope no one's hurt. Except Malfoy, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. 
Alright, what happened, guys? Malfoy grabbed me from behind as a joke and... Well, I panicked. Malfoy, you... We're in a forest, we don't know where we're going. You decide to do that, man, seriously? <laughs> no, you're a jerk, but come on. We're changing groups. Neva and Hermione come with me. Harry, you go with Malfoy and Fang. It'll be harder for this idiot to scare. I don't know why we didn't just do that in the first place. <laughs> Malfoy was like, Psh, follow me, peasant. Screw you. Okay, <laughs> so we gotta... We're now with Malfoy. Great. Because we don't scare easily. Now, where are we? Six and six. Great. Jeez, no. No! Get away from me. Stop it! I don't have Trya, I don't want to fight off. If I had Flipendo, Flipendo Trya, I wouldn't even hesitate. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's a dead end. Knew that was a dead end, I don't know why I went down there. Oh, really? Fine. You want some? Fly up in the air. That did barely anything. Great. Great. I it did decent amount of damage. Okay, so... Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far. It's actually nearing its end. Pretty darn close. Oh my goodness, it do a lot of damage. Um... Yeah! Fighting some spiders here that are destroying me somehow. Oh, jeez! Gotta use Wigwell Grand, because apparently my defense is horrible here. Oh, I'm like, wait, where's my other spell? I'm, I'm looking for Mucus Ad Nauseam and I can't find it. <laughs> that really didn't do much. Come on, Harry, you got this. my goodness. Alright, we're, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. This is the best spell I can think of for these guys, honestly, because I don't know any other weakness. I think Tro- I think Flipendo is a weakness of theirs. Oh, whoa! New enemy here. Oh, goblin. Go away. All right. I don't remember where I was going. Um. Oh. Wait, I think it was right. I hope it was right. That seems about this. No. Harry, we need a map of this place. Oh, there. Here we go. There we go. And, and no one likes you. Go away, giant monster thing. All right, man. Jeez, you would think that you've. Yeah, this forest has like all these, all these long pathways that look like it's correct, and then this leads you to a dead end. But you go so darn far. Let's try up again. Oh, it's not up. It's always down. We're going down. Down, down, baby. Okay, there you are. Alright, looks like... Ooh. Interesting. It's the unicorn! We found it! Look, that must be the unicorn. It's dead. How do you know? <sighs> you didn't go up and check its poles, you just stared at him like... Uh, it's dead! It could be unconscious for all we know. Dude, check for signs of life, man. Signs of life! Whoa, what... Who are you? <laughs> wow, I didn't know Malfoy was that much of a coward. <laughs> uh, pain in my head. Uh, uh, what? Oh, who are you? What happened? Gee, he's blonde. He's gone now. My name is Firens, I think. I don't know how to pronounce his name. We have to get you back to Hagrid. You are blonde, man. You're like the sun. I opened up my eyes and I saw you. <laughs> Wait, do you know who's been killing the unicorns? One who wants their blood. 
Truthing it maintains its life, even though it curses him for all time. But soon he thinks he'll get drink something that'll give him eternal life. Of course, the, the elixir of life. From the Philosopher's Stone, but who'd be that desperate? The same one who some centaurs believe the stars will say to will stars have said to will, said will kill you. Why they mess that up? The same one who has clung to life for so long, waiting for, to return to power. Voldemort! <gasps> it's him. Harry, are you alright? Yes, but the unicorn over there is dead. Time for me to leave, Harry. You will be safe now, and remember, sometimes the stars are wrong. That's true. Let's get back home now. I bet the others are already th are there already. And you don't just take me with you. Ah, oh, poor unicorn. Oh, So, yeah. Okay. I need to get out of here. So, yeah, something that wants their blood. Voldemort. So it's been him that's been killing all these unicorns and causing all these problems. And these monsters are going to cause me problems because they keep getting in my way. Wow, so that's a revel... Did it again. That's a revelation and a half. I wish there was a way to, like, teleport out of here, but I have to walk the entire way. Oh no, that's... no. And then these monsters keep getting in my way, <laughs> so it's even longer for me to get out of here. And that... Uh, did it. Okay. I can do this, guys. So yeah. That's... that's the reason we got here. We now know. So... Voldemort. But that... the thing is, though, that looked like Quirrell. So why would he say it was Voldemort? Why would he say Voldemort? That doesn't make sense. I could have sworn Voldemort was... gone. Oh my goodness. Hate. Monsters popping out of nowhere. I can't see you. Where are we? Third section. Okay, we're almost out. So, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Go away. No one likes any of you monsters. Big things harder. Jeez! I swear they keep this popping up wherever I go. You're kidding me. I can't escape a turtle. I can't escape a turtle. I can't, I can't. Okay, thank you. I'm going 20 minutes, and the reason I'm going 20 minutes is because monsters keep popping up in front of my face. Okay, third section. This better be second section. Good. Okay, we're almost out. Oh, no. No, you don't. Mm -mm. No, you don't. First section? Thank goodness, we're out of here. Oh, my goodness. Alright, well this could have actually gone on even longer. So be lucky it's only 20, about 20 minutes here. And no one's here to help us. Great, thank you. Awesome. Friends to the end there, yeah, friends to the end. Okay, so. I'm gonna go back inside. And I think I'm gonna end it off when I just, just go inside, because it's gonna take too long for me to... Go up to my room. Your detention is complete, Harry. Go directly to Gryffindor. Sure, whatever. Next time on Let's Play Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, we'll go to Gryffindor and start the end game of this game, because we're that close. So, it's been me, the Nintendo Sony Man, signing off, and I'll see you guys then. See you later.